how'd this story come about? Because I heard it's a true story. <laughs> it, it's inspired by a true story. Okay. Let's, go with, let's go with that. Um, I came about when my wife and I moved our family uh, years ago into a neighborhood. In, we were in Highland Park, and we were relocating, looking for a new house. And we found ourselves moving into a neighborhood, a historically black neighborhood in uh, Pasadena. And you know, we were moving in. We knew that we were going to be experiencing, you know, there were going to be some cultural differences. And, and, but we were both believers that, you know, no matter where you go, people are people. And if you go into it with, you know, an open heart and an open hand and, and you know, treat everyone with respect and dignity, that's what you're going to get back. And it's just exactly what we, what we did experience and the friendships we made and the relationships we formed were were wonderful because I think it, and then you it, heard open your wallet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I mean, for real, I mean, stereotype. It, <laughs> but I mean, it was. I mean, it was. An, it's a neighborhood that was in. You know, it was a neighborhood with issues that were new to us. Um, you know, and so out of that came a lot of, you know, remarkable. I think widening perspective, but also some very funny situations, and we just knew that there was. This was a conversation that needed to be had at a larger level. I feel very educated. Yes. Yeah. Love that. Love that, Jim. Feel very educated learning that there are black neighborhoods in Pasadena. <laughs> I never knew that. I never knew that. <laughs> Cedric the Entertainer, you hear about this project. I mean, in comedy, stand up, you're a legend. Everybody knows that. Yep. And yeah, I, I mean, give it up for Cedric. Legend. You guys. <laughs> It's on the paper. He's supposed to say <laughs> it's not a real. I'm thing. sure you have your choices of projects. Why was this one the right one for you? You know, uh, again, uh, after uh, this was something that the the network they were um, excited about. They had bought this project from Jim, and I met with uh, I met with Jim, and once we kind of talked about what the show was about, what he was trying to accomplish, uh, as we started to kind of partner up and and, and really uh, hone in on the voice of what I thought the black family should be talking about, then that's when I really fell in love with the idea that, you, you know, it felt like the times, you know, it felt like we deal with, um, you know, in, in this world right now where everybody's kind of asked to, uh, you know, stand on racial lines when, you know, the world has gotten bigger, it's gotten more complex and, you know, and race is only a part of who you are, not everything that you are. And so I thought that this was great that, you know, it actually comes to the black neighborhood and now I have to decide you know, as a character what this show, you know, what this what this character will do in this space. And that's what I thought was gonna be a fun character to play. And so it, it reminds me of all the archetype characters like, you know, Archie Bunker and and, and George Jefferson, and all these guys that are kind of <laughs> move move into a place and then they have to like make their stands, you know. So that's what I thought was interesting. And you have the best name in the business, Calvin Butler. Come on now, <laughs> come on now. Come on now. We weren't even trying to be that black. <laughs> Max, this question is for you. Did you have any hesitation jumping into this role? Because you know, when you're going one-on-one -on -one against Cedric, but you're painted as this, eh, I'm this guy moving into a black neighborhood. Did, was there any, any hesitation taking the role? Uh, was there any? No, there was, well, yes. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> It was a long, it was a long process trying to wrap my head around doing another show after New Girl had yes. wrapped after seven years. Um, but what these guys had created, <coughs> and the show that had been established at this point, with all of the actors and the writing, and I, it just was, it was, it was too much to say no to. I, I, I couldn't. Um, so then it just became about money. Wait, no. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, I was guessing. So important. <laughs> so but then important. it became about being nervous, uh, uh, you know, acting with these guys and meeting them at their level. It must have been nervous too, being from a show that was successful for seven years and your first project back, you want it to be a success too. You don't want to take a step back. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got you, Max. Yeah. I'm right there. Yes. Now, Beth, you were on CBS. You know the machine CBS is. You know how big it can make you. What were, were there any hesitations for you? No, actually. <laughs> um, I, well, I had 
talked to Max actually before anything. Um, about, he called me and he was like, "Dude, there's this project." <laughs> like, <laughs> and we have worked. We had worked together before, and also I'd had the pleasure of working with Cedric before. And then I watched the pilot, just like Max did, and was like, "Wait, are you sure you want me though? Because everybody's so good." Um, so I had the same nerves that Max did. But honestly, I I hope you'd agree. But from day one, it felt sort of like we'd all been together for a really long time, and. You know, I felt that instantly with Kat Dennings on Two Broke Girls, and we ran for a long time, and this feels like a family already, and then I hope, I hope it runs longer. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Knowing you were gonna work with Cedric, mm. that must have just had you so excited about just being on this show. Very much so. Uh, I auditioned like everybody else. You know, people are like, oh, when did you get the, you know, who gave you this role? Nobody! <laughs> well. I auditioned like everybody else, and I walked <laughs> in the room, and actually when my agent told me, he's like, okay, and it was at the end of pilot season. And I was like, okay, well, you know, we'll see what, you know, toss it out there and see what comes back. And uh, one more audition. I was like, okay, for what? Um, Cedric the Entertainer has a show. And I was like, ooh, I haven't worked with Cedric. Yeah. We hadn't worked, yeah. I've known this man 20 something years and we have not worked together. Yeah. So I said, hell yeah. So let me go in. I got. I said, make sure I, I see network. I gotta get to network because <laughs> I want to book. I want to be able to work with this man. Aside from Jim, I walked into the audition and Jim was just. I am so glad you came. I am so oh, honored wow. to have you here. So it just created. Which is a dead on Jim Reynolds guy. <laughs> <laughs> and you know this guy. I don't know if you've noticed it, but it, it was spot on. Right? Yes. Tashina and does a Jim Reynolds on <laughs> set <laughs> almost daily, and we're like. We just went thought it was Jim. <laughs> I'm actually in the process of writing a one-man show. I'm thinking, <laughs> she has the Mark Twain type. Oh of my god! Because it's just, you know, I, I've been in, I've been doing this shit a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and and to be able to walk into a room, <laughs> and it feels good uh -huh. at the audition. That was the first time that happened to me. Now, did you audition with Cedric? Did he ever show up in? We, I ended up testing with Cedric. Oh, All I, I said, I just want to be, just get me to that test. I want to get that test with him because I want to be able to show that I can work with this man because I, I just love him as a person. Now, I love him as a person. Everybody there... says that about me. Just yeah. love him. <laughs> <laughs> A giving first. Yeah. You are. He's very nice. <laughs> what made this show special to you? Because I, I see all the talent you're working with. But what made it special to you? Because different people have different reasons they do shows. I think Jim and the writers did a great job of just creating something that's extremely relatable. And it's naturally topical just because of the, the, the structure of the two families. It's naturally topical to everything that we experience every day that's going on in the world. And to be working with these legends right here oh, is yeah. a dream come true. Now, are you going to get a job in the show? <laughs> <laughs> oh! 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 Marcel, what's up? What what you were on the mayor last year? I was. Yeah, ABC. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people like the mayor. Okay, I'm my baby. <laughs> okay, look at that, you got fans. I fully walked into the room knowing that I was the dude, and people were like, who is that dude again? <laughs> <laughs> well, he was on that thing with the thing. Well, so, they watch. They I watch. appreciate it. They, they, okay. <laughs> appreciate it. Uh, now you're on CBS. How's it yeah. feel to be a part of this family, and what makes it different? Um, I, one, one of the things that I really like about this family, because the mayor was super, super supportive, and, and I have, I'm friends with those people for life. Um, but this, like, there's, there's that sort of thing that you can't explain, it's sort of intangible, these, like, connections with people right away. I had that with Jim when I, when I first went into the room, the same experience that Tashina had. Like, I walked into this room and I was nervous. I'm, I was coming off a situation where a show had just gotten canceled, a show that I loved, and I didn't know what was gonna happen because it's, it's hard to have actors, especially if you're starting out. Like, it doesn't often happen that you book a show and then you book another show. And I walked into this room with my ideas and, like, whatever I was gonna do with this character, and I was met with this guy who like sort of lived this story in a way, and he was very supportive and just he was inspired by what I was in doing, by, by what I was doing, and that encouraged me to like, like swing. I always go in every audition trying my best, but like I just felt so much support, and that feeling has been carried at every step of this process. Like every step of the way, we get so much support from the network, from the people in the room, from the writers, and I think that's that's something that's really special, and I think that that gives the show legs.